It's got dirt in the other side. What is this? Hydrogen peroxide? It's hydrogen peroxide. Alright, I'll take it in a minute. It's already been treated with it. Okay. Let me bring it into here so This you is can from see under it. the house. It will start to foam. And when it foams, that's the see it? That's in that means there's contact with biological substance in there. That's oh a biological God. reaction. That's look at that, look. See, it all went down. Watch out, it went down there. Ew. Oh, so you pulled it down. out and it sucked in. Wow. Let me see. That's definitely a hole deep in there. Can you do that one more time? Huh? I guess the hole's I'll already... I'll put some water in there. I was trying to show this is what is store. That's why I pulled away was to show that. That's the thing from it. Which we're going to pull that hey, out. This. The disc. Watch it. A little bit of water. Okay, watch. This is a high volume hose, but watch, this will start foaming out. That hydrogen peroxide in there is just going to go crazy. It smells like the Pirates of the Caribbean, which. Uh, no, it smells like a fucking. Well, I can't smell. My allergies have been going wild. I haven't been able to smell for a long See, time. Leave it on the phone. Oh it's going to keep coming up and it's going to go suck down. It's going to bubble up and then the whole thing is just going to suck down. It's black water. Oh, yeah, it's starting to bubble. That's reeling. Okay. Some of it is going out, but not that much. Ooh, it's moving around. I guess I better stay on the mark. Like it's bubbling. Anyway, when Maybe I start blasting, you smell it. No, I smelled it earlier. It was really bad. Over there, when it... No, you don't know what bad is yet. I smelled it over by the white table.
Probably. Maybe you should just let it do its thing. I was just going to keep recording. No, I want to stream. If we lower the... If we lower it... If we lower this, it'll be lower than that, and then all the water will drain out of the house. The uh -huh. So there's water under the house. Uh, the whole slab. This, this, this right here is a tank. It's full of water. That is above ground tank. I sealed it over here. Look. I thought the fucking water was going in. It was coming this out. is supposed to be on the city. It's not septic. It's not like there's a septic thing no, here. It's a, it's a sewer and broke this it. is a sewer. A broken it broke sewer. It. I knew it. And didn't fix it because it was too expensive or something. They didn't want to find it. How do we know they knew it? Uh, we have their work, what they did, and covered it up. Obvious. That's true, they covered it up and put new stuff on the top and left the old stuff. They knew, they were in here, they dug this. They dug it. They knew that this was a perfect thing. Oh, that's why there was like light colored sand on the top. Huh? Yeah. They poured sand over it. Yeah. Huh. It's gross. I feel it makes me feel I quite often here I feel nauseous. I thought, you know, something horrible was wrong with me. Between that and the other symptoms I had. It was really bad. It's bubbling, and see, it's there's it's not going anywhere because he didn't dig that part out. That's you don't just do that pouring down under there and have that reaction. Here, check this out. Look. What? Huh? All right. Are you still going? Yeah. Recording. With my hand, with my hand, I push this thing in, and it'll go further. Oh my god, that's six feet. Uh, do I have to? Okay. Do you lift it up a little? Don't get it on my nose. He doesn't feel good. <laughs> that smells. I can't smell very much either. My nose doesn't work too much, but it does have, it smells like a bathroom. Like now a dirty bathroom. Thinking. See this right here? The only thing I can figure out is cutting a path through here to drain it down that way. It's got to be lower. to use nature and drain it out toward the gut. So did you put that other one in there too? That's okay. also. That goes that deep in there. Deep. Oh my god. Solid water. All water. Okay, yeah, and it's pretty, um, pretty muddy and stuff out here because we had the flood inside and this is how we discovered all this stuff was going on. We had our uh, health yeah, symptoms, you know, where we didn't feel too good and everything, and, uh, but we didn't know that until we had the flood. And we called them, they... The rug that, uh, that got flooded and they were trying to save? Yes. So these are hanging to dry. These are our rugs that were in the house. We have nice stuff and would have never moved in here if we'd have known and had this kind of problem. Um, 
the reason we opened up, took the flooring out and everything, it was an emergency because we were ill and they didn't want to fix it. And we just didn't have anywhere to move. In the, you know. So we were trying to fix this so we can live our life. Now, what did they say when you told them about the flood? <clears throat> I will be right over to check it out. You'll be right over. And it never was. Never showed up. Oh, no, of course not. But that's just, you know, we're on our own here. And we're going to block the hard space because, one, we can't afford to move you that shit. Two is, I know how to fix it. But, I mean, I don't get it. I already got bids and stuff. This is like 14 grand for that. That doesn't even include the abatement of a fucking sump underneath the house. That is sick. The whole underneath of the block structure is loaded with water that came from the toilet and the sinks and the bathtub and the shower and the toilet. And it's black, and it's affluent. It's actual affluent underneath the house. I thought the rain was pushing it up, and I sealed the bottom, but it wasn't. We went through, and we did mold. We found mold, all kinds of stuff in the floor, pulled it up, thought that was it. Every piece of wood or anything else that's touching that floor is wet. So what I did is I ground down the concrete, and I... Uh, put a vapor, uh, uh, a permeable vapor uh, sealer on it, so it'll allow some moistures to come through, but only very little, and it's dry. It doesn't retain it, because there's an incredible amount of condensation, and every piece of wood that you see under there that's been opened is rotted, gone. Um, it's just water lines are just going through the entire house. And the, the hydraulic pressure is pushing up things through the cracks, through the other things. And right now I have an incredible headache. I don't get headaches. And uh, it's because this, 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 this is what it is. Um, we tried to clear the pipes and all that, and we found out that they laid the new electric in the back house, and they used this line, and they let the sewer just be opened in it and this is the result of the water the low spots on that thing is from the water my group so we're going to attempt something high tech our remediation process i don't know if it'll work i'm hoping it will but my god this is beyond this is criminal they knew and people got tested and thanks to our homeopathic wisdom I poured a little bit in there, all that water, but all my clone, all my clone. Still foaming. I have this incredible idea. And I tested it through here. I did, I tested it, and it's a multi thing, and what it'll do is it'll go in and we use uh, a combination of probiotics and, and flip the pH in there, so we'll re remediate the soil. Hopefully. And I think it'll. Help. And you've been trained for. Uh, Water oh, all this stuff. That's what I do. I, I, I flood places on a regular basis so I can remove and treat areas and then I dry them out. I know all about drying. I've been doing this for years and years. And uh, I've dealt with mold, but this is the first time I've actually dealt with uh, this, this type of mold. They, these were jet black. Um, I have the before pictures of all the structures, and what I'm doing is I'm using technology I learned in the restoration, um, uh, fabric restoration, and uh, the, the wood is coming out white, and it's going to be inhibited from any mold growth because it's going to be actually cellularly implanted with uh, um, uh, minerals and what have you that are completely hostile to mold. Anyway. Safe for people, though. 
Oh, absolutely. Okay, um, he's good. He uses these things in, uh, you can find them in most people's kitchens and other things like that. But the thing is, is it's how it's put together. And it's flipped one way, the other way, the other way, the other way. And what you're left with is solid uh, wood. But all these bottoms are just, everything on the bottom here is just completely gone. It's wet all the way through and, and rock. You can pull it apart with your fingers. You can see it right here. Yeah, this is, we had to take all our laundry out. We have a washing machine and dryer out. So this is pretty much a mess because we had to bring all our stuff out because it, the water was, you know, goes right from inside look, look. into the bedroom. These are the pieces right here from the planks. And you can see what's been touching it. You're not showing it. Okay, that's right there. Here, put it up on the sunshine so we can get a good look. Okay, we've got it. Okay, you hold it and I'll hold the camera because the camera's got a... This stuff makes me itch. This touch of getting being around it. It's all like this. And you can just pop it apart. I mean, your fingers. Okay, you can't move. Uh, you got to hold it a little slower. Just put it down. Oh, I'm good. We're good. Okay. All right. It's all wormy looking anyways. This is the treatment. Oh, here. Let me show it over here. So... This is the treatments I performed that turn the wood that blazons it. Okay, yeah, see this side he treated. Turn it can turn over. Both and then this was underneath. This is what I peeled up. This is sitting on the floor. Oh look at that greasy. This is after the all the treatments. Hold on, let me get the that's shine moldy. so you can see the shine. Yeah. See that sheen? It's like a really gross, sticky, icky blue sheen. And you can see it on the that's side. That's part of the like original glue. In. And let me show the yeah, side. I shouldn't, no, it's not glued down there. I don't know what that is. That's the glue that migrated underneath the linoleum. That's okay. what that is. Look. Okay, so that's a and treated this, and then non treated. And Check that is, out. Ew. Yeah, this is, you know. Look at that. That's molds. Look at there's a power box right above all that. Is that just wild or what? I'm trying to make a place for the water to go because it's under the house and we were wondering why it smelled like sewer uh, really bad, like uh, right off of the rain. We couldn't figure out why it smelled so bad. And it was always around the back part of the house. And we put the seal here in the rain because we noticed like a deep crack that uh, we were afraid it was going to go under the house. So evidently already was under the house and that's probably why it had the deep crack. Yeah. Huh? What? Oh. Yeah, my nose has been stuffed up, but I can smell that. And I smell really hard. I mean, I just, my allergies kick in and I can't smell anything. So. That's what's been happening. It's It's not the six. All right, uh, the clock was outside. The outside clock has a little glitch. It's actually the 19th today. 6:45.